Hey guys, Alex from Video Game Addict, and today I'm going to be reviewing Land of Grey, which is a free platformer game that you can go play on GameJolt.com. I'll put a link in the description if y'all want to try it out yourselves. Check y'all want to review it yourself, maybe see how how good it is, and then y'all can come back here and then see my opinion on how good it is. But anyways, so let's get right into this with the game summary. Land of Grey is a free platformer game made by a person that goes by the name of Game Popper. It was made for the New Year's Jam on GameJolt.com. It was added to the GameJolt website on December 29, 2013, and has been rated family friendly by the International Game Rating System. The description for the game is as follows. You are a little red fox in this little world where the color cues that keep the world color intact have gone missing. Quickly gather them up to restore the color, or the world could meet its end. Now that we know more about this game, let's go ahead and start the game up and get first hand impressions on how good this game is. Hey guys, we are here on Land of Grey. We're gonna go ahead and start playing it. Now, just gonna go ahead and start. Okay. So, five cubes of missing color. Alright. So run and jump, frame rate is dropping for me, but I think that's just because of my crap computer, so ignore that. So it'll feel a lot better for you. So run and jump. Try to... Oh, you can do you can do the uh, WASD. Okay. Oh god, this guy goes really far. Okay, we're hitting a block. No, right. am I supposed to jump up here? I think I can jump far enough if I just get this running straight. Hold up. Let's try it. Yeah, I can definitely get up there. So I'm playing a fox. A little, it's supposed to be a little red fox, but he's gray because the colors have been taken away. He jumps pretty high for a fox. I mean, I don't know why, oh, whoa, okay. Can you jump in midair? Why is his tail so weird? Like, everything is pixelated, but like, his tail is just so weird. Pretty sure foxes have bigger tails than that. I'm about to jump up here. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going with this guy. I mean, this is a guess that I'm supposed to be going this way, I mean. Music is pretty good though, I kind of like the music. Is that this where I'm supposed to go? No, not at all. This cloud looks weird in particular. No? What was that? What is that? Is that something I'm missing? Oh yeah, it was a block. Well, that was weird. I didn't see it before. I don't know if that was just because my eyesight was bad, or... See, my brightness is up all the way. Oh hey, he's getting a little bit of color back. I just noticed that. He's kind of a... Uh, ah, what kind of color would that be? That would be like a... What, cocoa? You know what that? I don't know. Name it whatever color you want. Okay, he can't jump that high. He cannot jump that high! Alright. Alright, he can still make it to this platform. Oh, look at that! The backgrounds are green! That's nice! No. I can't remember if it said anything about why these colors are um, disappearing or something. I, I, I don't really remember it. Oh, let's get back over here. I'm gonna have to read that again to actually see if that's what it said, like if some like evil mastermind caused the colors to go away, or if that was just out of random that these colors just decided to stop working. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to check it out. Alright, this fox is moving along. You know, this kind of reminds me of a suicide mouse, which I played that like a few months ago. I mean, that was. I mean, just how it looks, it just reminds me of that. 
but the whole the gameplay is totally different from it, of course. And there's another one. These blocks are easy to miss if you don't know what they are. Okay, I'm not slowly getting my colors back. He's falling. They fall damage? No, they ain't. No. There ain't really any enemies or anything stopping you from getting these blocks, which that would probably be pretty cool if they added that in, like maybe like some enemies just walk back and forth or some evil clouds or something. But instead it's just me jumping from point A to point B. I mean, which, which is still fine. I mean, a game could still be good just being, uh, jumping from one point to another. Like, if it has some difficult points. I mean, it doesn't look all that difficult. I mean, after you find out that you have, like, a, a large jumping, like, range, then it's kind of easy to do this. Nope, almost fell. I, you can just jump three stories high. It's not another one. How many I have to get again? Jesus Christ, I'm about to leave the map. I nearly did. Maybe there's one on the ground, like just ground level. I'm just missing it like an idiot. Okay, yep, I missed that. Balls to it. We're gonna go down here. There might be one on the ground, like I said. Maybe there's one just straight over here. Like, maybe it'll appear unless you do, like, get close to it. Nope. Alright. Continue moving along. My time is about to get to one minute. There is a leaderboard if y'all want to also try that out. Oh, there's a underground area. Will I be able to come back up? Your friends can never find you in a pit of despair. What? Alright, try this again. Alright. That was, uh, that was weird. So five cubes of color missing. Well, I was—I exp didn't really know what would the pit there for. Was that really that big of a threat? I thought we just had to jump in it. I mean, probably could have made that more lethal, having pits. Like instead of just one small one right there that people would just go into out of curiosity, you could probably have one, like multiple ones here. I don't know. So first, let's go get the one on top of the, um... Did I grab one already? I think I grabbed one. I think that's what that noise was. I didn't even see it. I just ran right into it on accident. So it's very easy to miss these. Just gonna... Jump it. Hope I make it. Oh, I didn't make it! God damn it. Okay, that was stupid on my part trying to rush this. I mean, it is like about to be 1 in the morning where I'm at, so... You can't blame me for trying to rush this. I mean, I really want to get some sleep. But... I gotta, I gotta make this review for y'all guys. I, so, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Because, you know, I love y'all. Mm, yeah, I mean, no homo. I mean... Nothing against homosexuals, I'm just saying. Not a homo. Anyway. Moving along. Okay, now I gotta get... I gotta actually land on this platform. And not be, uh... Too, uh... Too anxious, I guess you could say. Yeah. I'm gonna move the screen back, because I can barely... Because now you can actually see the colors, yeah. Now I can see the colors. I don't know, my laptop is just recording this on my laptop, so I'm so I'm seeing like the colors aren't appearing when I turn my screen forward a bit, which I have to because I'm also recording from my uh, laptop mic. So uh, yeah, now I gotta yeah record from there. I can move it forward more <laughs> so I can actually you can actually hear what I'm saying. Get back on here, see if there's anywhere I can go to the right. Did, I mean... I am curious to why he chose a fox as the main character, I mean... It could have been any character. 
But maybe it's because of the uh, what does the fox say video. Maybe that might have caused this person to pick this. Or maybe he just likes fox. Who knows. I gotta look for those little cubes. I mean, I, I missed one, but I still hit it. Somehow. I couldn't even see it, so I've only got to get a close eye out for them. This more than likely is leading to another cube. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's going like a, like in a perpetual staircase. Is that the right word to use? Perpetual? I don't think that is. I think perpetual means like repeating or something like that. I don't know. I'm not good with big words. So let's just go. Okay, I see it now. Oh, fuck. I only pressed the wrong button. So what is it, the third one I got in so far? I think it has been the third one, so I think there's like two more I gotta get. Come on, jump! I know there's like one up here, I think there might be two up here, the one I just didn't get because I missed that jump. And then we'll see the uh, ending we've been wanting. Usually I don't like to record spoilers, but I don't think there's going to be like... I mean, usually I don't do that only because... There's usually like a, um... I only do that if there's a story-driven game. I mean, I don't want to record the spoiler, the ending to the game because... Somehow I want to see the end up to a good story, but I don't think this one really focuses on the story. Okay, there's not really much of a story to be said other than I gotta collect cubes of color to regain color. I mean, there's not gonna be like some epic twist at the ending, I'm pretty sure, so... Keep forgetting, I, I walked out to the edge over here. See, I'm not gonna worry about the, um... Recording a spoiler here. See if there's anything over here. Oh yes, there is. Might be the last color square over here. I'm gonna be careful, if I fall here, I'm gonna have to start all the way fucking over again, which I really don't want to do that. Okay, sliding a bit. Okay, that should be the last color cube, if I can make that jump. You did it, you, you got back the color and menu at any time. There you go, I'm red. 100% red. And it's gonna fall down here. And up, look at all the colors, everything looks all colorful. Now, oh, let me go back to that pit though. I mean, I did this in under a minute, surprisingly, barely. Less than a second, but let me go back to this pit. Like, why, why this one pit that kills you? I mean, I'm still kind of confused why it's here. Does it serve a bigger purpose? I don't know, I think it's just here. Do you think that a challenge? If it is supposed to be your challenge, then it's not really a good one. Um, I don't know. Let's press M to see what it does. M menu at any time. Okay, I think this is going to take us back to the menu. Yep, it is. Alright, so... That was the game. Land of Grey. So, um, y'all can, can I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description so y'all can try it yourselves. And, uh, try and beat my score if y'all want. You know, try and beat it in less than a... Less than 59 point whatever seconds that was. Whatever. So, um, yeah, that was this part of the review. That was the gameplay commentary. So now let's go straight to the review so I can give my thoughts of what just happened. In this portion of the video, I will be grading the game on six different components, which are very important when it comes to making a video game. So without further ado, let's get into this with the first component. Lando Gray did have an interesting story with the fox trying to save his home world by recollecting some colored cubes and stuff, but the fact that the cubes just went missing didn't really sell me when it came to the concept. Now, why these cubes went missing is beyond me, considering that these cubes should be uh, kept in a very, very safe place if they are um, very important and if lost could cause the end of the world as we know it. So the fact that they just were missing for and were scattered throughout the small portion of land did, did not sell me when it comes to concept. Now I know that the uh, game was made in a few days and the person just had to make a short story to go with the game, but I think that there should have at least been a villain or enemy or some type of antagonist that caused the uh, cubes to uh, 
like be gone or be scattered throughout the land so that way chaos would rule or something. Now, this shouldn't just be them being lost because of someone's um, ignorance. I think that, and another thing, wh why was it a fox? <laughs> that was another thing, why Why was it a fox? I mean, of all people, of all characters that could have been, a fox was one of the most bizarre now. Maybe the person just like fox, maybe the maybe the fox was some, because of what, what does the fox say, who knows, but other than that, I mean, I think this should at least address why the fox is something, if, if not, then, you know, I, I don't know, the fox was still an interesting character to choose, but he was still, not gonna complain about the character choice, but the game did need a villain of some type, so for that, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5. The graphics for the game aren't really, uh, complainable, like, you're not wanting to complain about them, I'm not gonna really bitch about the graphics considering that they're, it's supposed to be a, like an 8-bit style looking game, but the ga the graphics could have been a bit more higher resolution, I mean, it did look like something off a of Suicide Mouse, which, that, that made up for the graphics being a pretty, pretty bizarre game, like, scary game. But, uh, the, since that the uh, pixels were too big, and everything looked, did look a little weird, like, I mean, a, a Mario, like, it looked, a Mario game would have looked better than that, I mean, but, um, I'm not gonna complain about the graphics, I mean, I mean the fact that the colors changed every time you collected the black was pretty cool, I like, I did like that, but, um, also, why, why were the platforms, um, red, I mean, they could have made the, uh, the platforms a uh, island of some sort or something but the fact that they're like a red look metal looking block was kind of weird i mean they could have used the graph but they could have used graphics to change that but, but i'm not gonna complain about the graphics too much but i will give the graphics a three out of five for um not being the best graphics in the world even though it's an 8-bit game the music for the game was pretty good i mean that's pretty much the best kind of music you're going to get when it comes to an 8-bit game. The, the music just seemed to have fit the game. I, I liked the music. It was pretty good. I mean, whoever made that music was, was made a, did a pretty good job when it came to uh, making music for this game. Because it seemed to have fit the mood and tone of the game. I mean, it, may, it, made, it made you feel like, yeah, you're playing the right game. <laughs> yeah, that's really how it felt. So I'm going to give the music or sound a 5 out of 5. The playability for the game, which is pretty much can the player like play the game without any issues, like actually get the controls down and stuff, was pretty basic. Like it was pretty easy when it came down to this game. I mean, if you didn't know how to like do the controls for this game, you must be like a complete moron. All you had to do was just move the arrow keys or WHD. I mean, it was just simple, basic controls for most games on the computer. Nothing special. So, it, of course having the playability of the game is pretty good but the fact that the character did slide a bit and made the game a little weird like it made it kind of hard to maneuver the character sometimes because whenever you try jumping on a platform he did slid a bit caused a little bit of difficulty which that was kind of good kind of bad I mean they could have added some other form of difficulty to the game some other form of challenge instead of the character having to slide too much I mean Something else that was again, because now you're just fighting yourself because your character slides too much, so now you gotta control your own sliding. I mean, there's something else they could have added instead of just a sliding character. Um, also, the fact that the character jumped way too high also caused some confusion for me because why did he jump too high? Like, was he wearing pogo shoes or something? I mean, was he wearing moon shoes? I mean, because I have never seen a character that of a platformer game jump that high if I unless I'm mistaken. I mean I don't ever remember a character jumping that high. I mean I think that was ridiculously high for a platformer game and probably should have been tweaked down a bit. But other than that, the controls are very solid. Everything is pretty good, so I'm gonna give the playability a four out of five. When it comes down to the game being fun or entertaining there wasn't really much to this game that made it really fun or entertaining. I mean, ad adding enemies to increase the difficulty would have 
really made this game a lot more fun because the fact that this game was so slow, slow, ah, my bad, slow paced really made this game not that fun. I mean, it was very agonizing to see my character slowly move from point A to point B. I don't know if that was because I had a low frame rate. That might have been the low frame rate I was having, but that might not have been. But for me, the character jumping way too high and then having to see him fall down like a feather really annoyed me and it wasn't really that fun to see that and then there was no really a challenge the only challenge I saw was just that one small pit to fall in which you can easily just jump over I just jumped into it to see if it was the place I had to go but yeah more ways to die would have been acceptable like more pits to fall in spikes something moving enemies some, making a greater challenge could, would make it more enjoyable to be other than like it wasn't really that entertaining, I mean, I did see myself having a bit fun trying to get from point A to point B, but not all the fun was there. So I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to give this a 1 out of 5 when it comes to entertainment. The replay value for this game, which is pretty much will the player come back and play this game again, was not very high considering once you beat the game, it's over. You beat the game. Now, you could come back and try and beat the time, which is why they, the person added a time there, which is pretty smart on this, on the creator's part. But, the fact that this game was very slow paced, and there's only one level, made it to where this person, I mean, most people probably don't want to try again, and try and move the slow ass character from point A to point B. And the fastest time, I mean, it took me a whole minute to get there. Now, I know that's pretty quick, but just watching him jump very slowly took so long. I mean, I know this game was made in a few days, so I know there's only one level, but if this person wants to make more levels to make the game more better, even though the, the jam is over, I mean, you could still do so. I mean, you still have the right to do so. It's your game. I mean, I'm not telling you to. I'm just saying that it would probably benefit the game if there were more levels. Probably say more than just five cues you're missing. Probably like, let's say a hundred. I mean, that's just a guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're gonna make a hundred levels, but you can make like, what, 20 levels with five cubes on each one. But yeah, I mean, stuff, stuff like that would make this game come backable. I mean, that, that would make it to where I would want to come back to this game. But other than that, not really a game I would see myself coming back to anytime soon. Probably if I wanted to beat the time. But other than that, no. So, I'm, I'm gonna have to get the replay value a 2 out of 5. Now that we are done grading all 6 components of this game, let's head straight on over to the conclusion where we can give our final verdict of this game. We're here in the conclusion where we will give out the pros and cons of the game and then we will give the final score that this game truly deserves. The pros for the game are as listed. It has an interesting story, great music, and basic controls. The cons for the game are as listed. It needs an antagonist. The graphics could be higher resolution. The character jumps extremely high. It is far too easy, and the game is very slow paced. The pros and cons have been listed, so now it is time to give this game a final score. The final score for Land of Grey is a 3 out of 10. The reason for me giving this game such a low score is just because it wasn't all that enjoyable. The um... The fact that I didn't have any enemies or that much of a challenge and it being slow paced, it really hurt this game a lot. I mean, the story was very unique and this game has so, so, so much potential to be a very good game. But I know this game was made in such a short time, which I, I really respect this game for being made in such a short time. It's pretty good for a game being made in such a short time, but it could be added on to become a great game. I mean... The adding enemies to the game, more challenges, like more obstacles, um, make make the character not jump too high, or make him run a, li a bit faster or something. Um, 
like add a split button maybe, or who knows. I mean, that can make the game so much more better. Make the story go a little bit more in depth. Doesn't have, doesn't have to go too much in depth because it is a it is a platformer game with platformers don't really have that much of a story, but it could go a tiny bit more in depth to how the uh, keys got lost. But other than that, yeah, I mean, three out of ten. But uh, but it's still it needs some work. It needs some work, but it has potential. It has the potential. So game popular. I think that was the name. So I guess check real quick. Um, yeah, game popular. If you're reading this. If you're watching this, then yes, please um, add on to this game. It could really become a good game. Add enemies or something, more obstacles, and it could become a great game. I mean, but for now, that's the review, guys. I mean, do you think this game deserves a better or worse score? I mean, let us know. I mean, there's a link in the description if you want to play the game. Then come back here and give us your thoughts on how your experience went. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Get feedback in the comment section below. We're always, we are always, always open for suggestions on what games to play or review. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see y'all next time. Later, guys. Bye.